friends, I'm Evangeline. Welcome to Church at Home. We are learning all about God's amazing creation. Did you know that God made all the animals that we see and love? He made the small animals like mice and rabbits. He also made big animals too, like elephants. Whoa! Our big idea today reminds us that when we see all the amazing animals, we can remember something really important. Our big idea says, God wants me to take care of His creation. Are you ready to say that? Repeat after me. God wants me to take care of His creation. Awesome job! I know a song that we can sing together that will remind us of all the things that God created. It's called the Creation Song. So listen closely to all the things that God created. Let's stand and sing this song together. We're gonna sing the creation song. We're gonna start by counting from one to seven and moving our arms like this. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue and way up high. Whoa. Can you say whoa? Whoa. Day number three. On day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Sing out those woes. Whoa. Sing God made you. and whales and things that go squish on day number six god made animals and bugs foxes and cubs all for us to hug whoa. you hear those woes whoa sing day number six on day number six god also made man he said it was good and part of his plan on day number seven god stopped to rest he saw what he made it was his best whoa sing out those woes God made you. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made the earth and He made the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was so much fun. We sang about all of the amazing things God created. God created the earth and all of the animals in it, and He wants us to take care of all of His creation. Do you know how we can know this? It's in this book right here. It's the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that tells us stories about real people and places from a long time ago. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but today I want you to hear the very first story in the Bible. So let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and hear our Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless and dark, but the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, Let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space 
sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, Let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Uh -oh. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea, Hello, man. the birds in the sky, Hello, man. and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work, and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Wow, God made so many amazing things. He made the sky and all of the birds. He also made the sea, the fish, and all of the land animals. He even made the trees. There is a verse in the Bible that will tell us all about what God thought about the things God created. But, oh no, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's pop all the bubbles. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. Bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight. That's it, all right, all right. Keep going, yay! We're almost there. We got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere, yay! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look. We can see our Bible verse now. It says, Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. Genesis 1, 31. This Bible verse tells us that God made all these good things, like the animals and plants, and he saw that it was good. And God wants us to take care of the animals and all the earth he created. It's our job to treat the earth well. Let's remember this verse together by singing these words from God. 
Let's stand up and sing that Bible verse together right now. All right, can you guys all stomp your feet like elephants? Good job. This song is Genesis 131, and we're going to sing God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was good. So you guys, let's sing it out together. Are you ready? Here we go. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. That Bible verse tells us about how God loves all of His creation. God wants us to help take care of all the things He made. There are so many ways we can take care of God's creation. I know a Skeppet friend who is learning more about God's creation and the different ways to help take care of it. It's Hector. Friends, it's time to visit Hector and his friend, Pastor Steve, at Skeppet Scout Camp as they earn a special Skeppet Scout patch that will teach them more about God's amazing creation. So let's put on our Skeppet Scout thinking caps and our Skeppet Scout listening ears and join Pastor Steve and Hector at Skeppet Scout Camp. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve. And I am Hector. Hey, Skeppet Scouts, let's do our Skeppet Scout salute. You ready? Ready. Clap twice and then howl like a wolf. Here we go. Ow! Ow. Nicely done. Hey, Scuppet Scouts, I'm actually here with Scuppet Scout Master Hector. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, this guy has more Scuppet Scout patches than any other Scuppet. And I'm actually here today to receive a patch from him. Oh, yeah? Uh, which one are you trying to get? I'm trying to get the Earth Pals patch. Well, to get that one, you got to know some things about animals. Oh, I love animals. Hey, did you know that on day five, God created the sea creatures and the birds in the sky? Yep. And on day six, God created us. And he created all the land animals that we see and we love. I mean, he created the small animals like the rabbits and the mice. He created the great big animals like the elephants and the giraffes. And he made the really strong animals like the bears and the lions. And he even made every animal in between, like cats and dogs. Well, there are a lot of animals and fish and birds out there, but do you remember what God made on day two? Oh, I do. On day two, God made the sky. And on day three, God made the land the trees, and the plants. Yep, and that's important because the fish live in the ocean, the birds fly in the sky, and the animals live on the land and eat from it. Do you know what animals like to eat, Pastor Steve? Well, different animals like to eat different things, like some animals like to eat plants, and some animals like to eat meat. Well, you gotta know what they like to eat if you wanna get your Earth Pals patch. Why? Because to get your patch, you gotta know how to take care of the animals. Okay, well, what else do I need to know? You gotta know that God wants us to take care of the animals and all the earth. We need to be nice to the animals and treat them well. Wow, Hector, I did not know that you loved God's creation so much. <laughs> well, I mean, don't tell anyone. Now, um, you want your patch or what? Oh, I sure do. Okay, make a dolphin noise. Why? That's what you gotta do to get your patch. Oh, okay, I'll try. Oh, oh, okay, 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 that's a, uh, you know what, that's pretty good, but uh, maybe work on that a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's try uh, Dance Like a Tree. What? You gotta do it. Okay. I'm dancing like a tree. Oh, got some arms going. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that's that that's okay? pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, okay. yeah, we'll call that okay. good. Okay, check. Now, uh, walk around like a chicken. 
Really? It's all in the Scubbit Scout patch rules. Okay. Okay, okay. You know what? That was actually uh, pretty good. You're good at that. So, um, here's your patch. Yes! Yes! I now have my Earth Pals patch. Now, every time I look at this patch, I'm going to remember that God made all the earth, all the animals in the earth, and he wants me to take care of it. And when you see those animals, you know, be nice to them and take care of them, okay? We can do that. And uh, be nice to the trees and flowers, too. You know, don't stomp all over them and stuff like that. Got it. Now, to you Scuppet Scouts out there, remember that God made you and he loves you very much. And, um, well, I guess we do too, right? <laughs> yes, we do. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Ready? Ow! Wow, did you see Pastor Steve earn his Earth Pals patch? That was so awesome. He earned it by learning how to take care of animals in the earth. His friend Hector also taught him some great ways to take care of God's creation by being nice to the animals and the plants. Raise your hand if you have an animal at home. If you do, you can take care of God's creation too by feeding them when it's time for them to eat or petting them nicely. Another way you can take care of God's creation is if you have some trash. You can help throw it away in the right spot so we can keep the land looking nice. Oh, and another way we can take care of God's creation is by watering the plants so they can grow to be healthy. Friends, would you like to meet up with Zara for Zara's Canoe Challenge and see if you remember what you learned about from today's lesson? Let's get our oars so we can paddle with Zara to the correct answers. Ready? I'm ready. Friends, it's time for Zara's Canoe Challenge. Hi, I'm Scuppet Scout Zara. <laughs> Let's do our Scuppet Scout salute! ow Hey, are you ready for Zara's Canoe Challenge? Well then hop in my canoe and let's go! Today, we're trying to earn our Earth Pals patch. But, we have to answer a few questions to get it. I'll ask you a question, and you're going to paddle to go left if you think the answer is over there, and paddle to go right if you think the answer is over there. Let's try a practice question first. What sound does a chicken make? Paddle right if you think they go Paddle left if you think they go Good job, Stuppet Scouts. Chickens say now let's go further down the river for our questions about God's amazing creation. Our first question is, what did God make that flies in the sky? Paddle right if you think God made chocolate chip cookies fly in the sky. Paddle left if you think God made birds fly in the sky. Whoa! <laughs> nice paddling, Scuppet Scouts! God made birds fly in the sky. Oh, look, there's one now. Hi, bird. Oh, we've made it to our next question. When God made the fish, where did he put them? Paddle right if you think he put them in the water. Paddle left if you think he put them in a big pool of fruit punch. Nice paddling, Scuppet Scouts. When God made the fish, he put them in the sea and in the rivers, like the one we're on now. We made it to our last question. Get this one right, and you'll get your Earth Pals patch. Are you ready? Okay. What does God want us to do with his creation? Paddle right if you think he wants us to take care of it. Paddle left if you think he wants us to stomp on it and be mean to it. Right? <laughs> God wants us to take care of all of his creation. You did it, Scuppet Scouts! You've now officially earned your Scuppet Scout Earth Pals patch. 
Congratulations, Scuffet Scouts! Thanks for joining me for Zara's Canoe Challenge! <laughs> Ow! Wow, great job! You did it, Scuppet Scouts! Today we learned about how God created the sky, land, sea, fish, birds, trees, and land animals. Wow, God made so many things. God loves all of His creation. That's why He wants us to help Him take care of it. So let's spend time thanking God for all that He created and letting us help Him take care of His creation. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for making so many good things. Thank you for loving us. Help us to remember the many ways we can help take care of your creation. We love you so much. Amen. Great job, friends. God loves to hear from us when we talk to Him. Before we go, I have a question. Do you remember our big idea? Let's say it together one more time. One, two, three. God wants me to take care of His creation. You did it. I have had so much fun with you learning about God's amazing creation and how we can take care of God's creation too. We'll see you soon. Bye.